The Lord is already coming like a thief and nobody's believing it much, but it's upon us. But anyway, let me just begin here and show you about the, the resurrection and so forth and his coming. But let me just go ahead and read you here out of the book of St. John, if you got a Bible, about the sixth chapter. And I'll go ahead and start at verse 28. You listen to it now. This is Jesus beginning to speak. Then said they unto him, speaking to Jesus, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign? See? What sign showest thou then that we may believe? What dost thou work? Our fathers, now listen what they're telling him. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat, which is angels' food. Man, that made them exciting to read, read what God gave to Moses and the people back there. But listen to Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God, remember man don't live by bread naturally only, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And Jesus was the bread and the bread was the word. The word made flesh. For the bread of God is he which cometh down, see you're from beneath, I'm from above, from heaven and gives life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. Thank God. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He that believes on me shall never thirst. How can you go wrong, children, if you'll just get in Jesus? You won't hunger, you won't thirst. Now that don't mean you won't crave him. I do all the time. But I don't hunger for another God. I don't thirst after another way. I'm proud with Jesus. That's all I want. I'm not going to be tossed to and fro, carried about by men. No, sir. I'm going to stay with a sure foundation. See, that's what that means. He that believes on me will never hunger. Why? You love his word. You'll eat of his word. He's your bread. You ready? But I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father, that's the Holy Ghost, giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Could you get a better promise than that if you'll come to him? For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, all that he's given me, I should lose nothing, but should what? Raise it up again at the last day. Come on. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may what? Have everlasting life. You get that now. And I will raise him up when? At the last day. There's a second time he told you that. Watch this. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I, I am the bread that come down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph? See there? Whose father and mother we know. Come on. How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? See, they were looking at the way he was raised up. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man that's including us, can come to me except the Father which sent me draw him. And of course, that started on the cross. If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to me. And here's the good news. And I will raise him up when? At the last day. It is written in the prophets. 
and they shall all be taught of God. Honey, listen to ye prophets. Every man therefore that has heard and learned of the Father comes unto me. Not that any man has seen the Father. Don't quit there. Except he which is of God, hallelujah, he has seen the Father. Now tell me, how have I seen the Father? You know how I seen him? He didn't appear to me, but he did to Thomas. Remember Thomas, the one little disciple that said, except I see the nail prints in his hands and I put my hand in his side, I'm not going to believe. Remember after Jesus rose, he appeared to them, the doors being shut, walked right over to old Thomas, hallelujah, and said, Thomas, put your fingers into my hands and thrust your hand in my side. Don't be faithless. What did Thomas say? My Lord and my God. Jesus said, Thomas, because you've seen me, you believe. Blessed are they that have not seen me, but yet they believe. Children, all I have to do and you have to do is you accept his word right here. Even these red letters is Jesus' own mouth and all these good men of this Bible. Accept them over father, mother, wife, children, preacher, prophet, and whoever put these men first. And I guarantee you, hallelujah, that you will learn of the Father by coming unto Jesus. What did he say? Come unto me. All you that labor and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. How are you going to learn of him? Who do you know better than the word himself? Come on, children. This is your book if you'll receive it. Watch this. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God. He has seen the Father. There's some good little brother, and I can look at if I was standing there with them. And they could tell me, just like old Philip, Philip asked him first, said, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us, satisfies us. You know what Jesus told them? Have I been so long time with you, and yet as thou not knowing me, Philip, he that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not? that I'm in the Father and the Father in me. See, when you study the Bible, not only did God send the Son, but Jesus said in John 12, chapter 12 and verse 31, I believe, Jesus said, He that sent me is with me. My Father has not left me alone. He said, You'd all be scattered and leave me alone, but yet I'm not alone. The Father's with me. What's He talking about? Who's His Father? Honey, who was it he gave up on the cross? Hallelujah. When he cried out, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He was giving up his spirit there so he could die. And that's the only time that the father ever left that son, which was his own body. I know it's a great mystery, but it's revealed now. Now, children, you can see the father in the face of Jesus Christ. Read the fourth chapter of the book of 2 Corinthians, as God is my helper, there's little people that I can talk to and they can tell me just as good as Thomas, my Lord, and he's my God. I've not seen him, but I believe. We're more blessed. Now, watch this. Jesus said, this is, or verse 57, as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. See what he's telling you here? The Word comes in you, and you live by it. Every time you believe this, and it becomes like honey sweet to you, you're eating the best meal you can get, children. Honey, God help us. We got it made just like old John did when God told him, take that little book and eat it up. As soon as he did... It was in his mouth, sweet as honey. I've tasted that. Every time God begins to work with me in this word, man, it's like honey. I'm telling you, that's the only happiness I got. I love my family. I've got good children, grandbabies. I love them. 
But God's my witness. There's nobody no greater than Jesus. No greater love than somebody that laid his life for you when you were lost. Why don't you accept his truth? He was the word made flesh. Now he's the word in spirit and letter for you. Listen to him. As the living Father has sent me and I live by the Father. Did he live by his spirit? You better believe he did. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He had greater. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. See there, children, when you eat of this, you're going in eternity with him. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Now watch this. Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? Now, children, did you know some words that Jesus spoke? People get mad and walk away from him. Now, I know a lot of times the things I teach is cause people to pout up and puff up. Oh, he don't know what he's talking about. But in the long run, I guarantee you, it'll work on your heart because the gospel is the power of God for your salvation, children. I know there's things you may not understand right now. But if it's penetrating at all, it's going to mold you. Children, as God is my helper, when Jesus said, He that sent me is with me, my Father's not left me alone. And if you've got Christ at all in you, this is His Word, this is His life, and sure as you start hearing it, and it starts penetrating, it makes you want to wonder about Him. But in the long run, it'll make you, if you let it, love Him more than your father, more than your mother, more than your children, more than anybody. Why? Why is God so interested like that? To want you to love Him and His Word more than anything. Why? Why would He say except you forsake father, mother, wife, life, and your own children for my sake? You're not worthy of me. Why would the man even say something like that? You want me to tell you why? Because if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, Jesus said. And did you know what the first one is? Not only hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, but thou shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. Why would he want you to love him that much? Because there is no other God that can help you. There's no other foundation. There's nobody could love you like Jesus, children. That's why that if ever you fall in love with him and accept his truth above anybody, honey, I know some things it's hard for you to understand, but it's for your benefit. A lot of times the disciples couldn't understand it. And Jesus would say, well, now you can't bear them now, but you will. We ain't got time to wait around. We need to earnestly contend for this faith that God give these good gentlemen. Children, you're running out of time. Put that armor on that you can stand in this evil day. Don't get hurt at me, but all this wishy-washing and promising you a future in the kingdom of God yet to come and all the money you're putting in it, you're going to get it back. That's hogwash. You understand? Jesus said, Everyone at Thurston comes to the water. You don't have no money? Come and buy wine and milk without a price. I want a God that will save me and not charge me. No man could love you like Jesus did. Now, I'm not again paying tithes. It's Bible and offerings and all that. That's part of it. But when it comes to your salvation, it's free. Call up on him while he's near. Listen to your Bible. Jesus said himself, This is that bread, verse 58, which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught. Now watch this. In Capernaum, many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? See, now children, I know sometimes this affects you that way because you were taught different. 
And you said, that's just a hard thing. No, it's a loving thing. You know why? Because Jesus don't love me enough that he could bend his word for me or take it out of there to make me happy. You know why? Bible said every word of God is pure and a shield to them that put their trust in him. God settled it in heaven. He can't change it. The words that I speak, their spirit and their life, Children, accept this over everything if you can read it. And God will help you. I'm telling you the truth. Watch what he said. When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured, what were they murmuring? It's a hard saying. He said unto them, Doeth this offend you? Come on. Does the word hurt you? That's because it loves you. It's a sword. It'll cut off. That's why you need it to be called your sword. I don't want one of them compromising spirits with a dull blade. Their sword won't cut butter. Man, they, they, they can just let anything go on. I don't want that kind of teaching. I want something that'll affect my life to get me in with God. Now watch your Bible. Jesus said, does this offend you? What and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? You ready for this? It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. Now please hear this. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, thank God, and they are life. Now how can you go wrong if Jesus said something in the word and you didn't believe it at one time? How could you go wrong by changing and believing it? When he said the words that I speak, they're spirit and life. Now listen to me. Jesus, I'm going to give you an example here. And one of my favorites, he said himself in John 10, 30, I and my Father, you know what it said, are one. Well, let me tell you, people hear that and they get offended. No, there's more. Why do they get offended at the man saying here? Because they were raised and taught. Somebody got to them before the Word did and had them in a hard state. Children, that's where a problem is today. And Paul said, Let no man spoil you through philosophy, vain deceit, after traditions of men and rudiments of the world. Now listen to me. It's hard sometimes to cut something off that you're used to. And if you're a proud person, it's even harder. But I'll tell you what, I'd rather obey God and die saved and obey man and possibly die lost. If your eye offends you, cut it out, pluck it out. If your hand offends you, cut it off. If you love me, keep my words. All this he said for our benefit. Now watch this. Jesus said, listen to him. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. What is somebody that don't believe? I know he said it, but I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe it means that. See, that's what's hurting us. I can't tell you any different than what I can read. It was Jesus in Mark 16 that said, Go in all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. It was Jesus that said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be what? Saved. It was Jesus that said, He that believeth not shall be damned. Should I cross Jesus and say, It don't matter if you don't believe it, that's all right. You're still glory bound. He was the one that said it. I'm just wanting to repeat him. And sometimes it hurts. Especially if you've got kids and they wonder which way to go when all along you try to raise them the right way. Jesus said, I am the way. Children, God help us all. But he that hear these sayings of mine and do them, that's the one Jesus said, I'd like them to a wise man. You want to be wise in God? Let me tell you, and I, I love you or I wouldn't tell you this. If I wanted to crowd, all I'd have to do is let down. Bring in these fancy musicians, bring in movie star preachers and get you a crowd. But what's going to happen to us if the blinds are leading the blind? Where are we going? Party a while and into a ditch. You'll be worse than a drunken man getting out on a road and wrecking in the ditch. Come on. 
We need to heed the word of God, contend for that faith that God delivers, deliver to his saints. Now watch this. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not. Children, you might as well admit it. He knows you. And who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come to me except it were what? Given unto him of my Father. What's that mean? When you feel in your heart that the word's right and it starts a working on you, then God's a drawing you. But if you can do like the Jews back then and even now reject it, not all of them, and Gentiles too, then that's hardness of heart. So Jesus let them know, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come to me except it were given unto him of my Father. Now, he drawed you by dying on the cross. So go to verse 66. From that time many of what? His disciples went back and walked no more with him. You listening to that? His own disciples walked away from him. You say, I'd never do that. When you don't have his word, you're doing that. When you turn it away for somebody else. Now listen to verse 47. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, they're the ones that begin this, will you also go away? Children, listen. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thank God. Thou hast the words of eternal life. That's where you're at today. You need the words for your life to be eternal with God in the end. How am I going to get it? He that heareth these sayings of mine and do them. That's the one. If you don't hear it, you're going to end up building on the sand, which is traditions and doctrines of men. And what happens, honey, I feel God. Let me close it out with these words. You go with me in your Bible to the book of Second Book of Corinthians. Turn it with me. Chapter 4. This is what God wants you to hear, children, because there's a final last day approaching you, and we need to be ready. Go with me in your Bible to the book of 2 Corinthians. Turn with me, 2 book of Corinthians chapter 4. And God just moved this here. Watch this. Go to verse 1. Therefore seeing we have this ministry, as we receive mercy we faint not, but renounce the hidden things of dishonesty, not a walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but what? By manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience. Here it is, in the sight of God. Now read verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, come on, it is hid to who? Them that are lost. Now, who is them that's lost then? Jesus said, preach it to every creature. He that believeth not shall be what? Damned. Lost. Well, who caused all this? Next verse tells you. Verse 3 said, if our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. Who done it? In whom the God of this world, the devil has blinded the minds of them which believe not. When he can blind your mind, how do you blind somebody's mind? They can't see it. You ever notice anybody that's blinded? They can't see light. They can't see because they're blind. Having eyes to see but can't see. When you get a deaf ear to hear, you can't hear, but yet you'll hear something. But what did God say? If our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. Why is God saying, my gospel, if it's hid, you're lost? Why? Because of words that I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and life. Well, then what's that other fellers? Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what Paul warned you. Antichrist. Believe not every spirit. Try the spirits. Many false prophets risen up. Spirit of error. Two spirits are working. Spirit of truth, you word. Spirit of error. We're in one of them or the other. Now, in whom the God of this world blinded the minds of them that believe not, lest, here it is changing you, the light 
hallelujah, of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. Watch this. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of who? Jesus Christ. Children, as I'm closing, stay with the book. Seek the truth. And I guarantee you, God will prosper us in Him no matter who don't like us. We become His royal priesthood, His holy nation. Now, I see my time about up. Write us in any prayer requests. Get on our website. We've got good articles and programs. So God bless you till I see you again in Jesus' name. Pray for us. We always need it. God bless you. Amen. Thank the Lord. We would like to thank you for joining Brother Rowe and invite you to continue with him in outreach. Your prayers and support will be deeply appreciated. If God leads you to help in this ministry, please send your contributions to The Church of Jesus Christ, Post Office Box 283, Baxter, Kentucky 40806. And may God bless you.